On a cold day, a hot meal can go a long way, especially for those who need assistance. And today, local dignitaries are volunteering their time for the Meals on Wheels program. Today we're excited. Um, it's our Mayors for Meals Day, and we have both Mayor Sharp and Mayor Augustin here who will be out delivering meals with our volunteers. I noticed the kitchens and all the food. What is the process for cooking for the seniors? Well, they're busy. They're busy in that kitchen. I mean, they start very early in the morning. We have to give them their uh, delivery sheets before 9. And then they start preparing the, the, the food, and um, they have to package it, seal it, um, and then place it in the, in the order that it needs to go to in the bag so it's delivered to the proper homes. Why is it important to assist seniors to live on their own? Well, it's extremely important. I mean, here we are in the, in the hospital, and what it does is very often if, if a senior can't stay or somebody else can't stay in their own home for a prolonged period of time, then, then they often end up in the healthcare system. And we know that that's uh, not only costly, but it's not, not that healthy either. So it's much better for people to stay in their own homes in an environment that they're used to and get nutritious food and also have somebody check in on them. So that's why the program is so key. It's, it's those two components and really friendship as well. It's the food, the checking in and a little bit of friendship that goes along with it goes a long way. David, you've volunteered for over nine years. Why do you do it? At first I did it because I was bored when I, after I retired, but now I enjoy doing it because I interact with all the people that I deliver to and I, if they haven't had any visitation for a week or so from their own families, I talk to them for 10 or 15 minutes before I move on to the next client. Barry, what is the significance of Meals on Wheels? I think it's just a great program. I've been happy to support it every year since uh, since I moved into the mayor's office. It's, uh, it's volunteer based and I think that's, uh, that's vitally important. We need that uh, in the community. Uh, and it provides a, you know, an affordable option for seniors who are interested in continuing to stay independent, live in their homes and uh, you know, enjoy a healthy lifestyle because they have uh, healthy meals that, uh, yeah, like that uh, help them stay independent. What does it mean to have the mayor yeah, deliver your meals hey, today? Your regular delivery it's a guy. nice, yeah, nice yeah. feeling wow. and uh, it was nice of him to come. And I had never met him before. <laughs> uh, no, I appreciated it. Very nice. Meals on Wheels have helped you live independently. What has that meant for you? Well, less grocery. I don't have to go so often to shop. And then uh, I had an operation last year, and uh, I got them, and uh, I'm going to keep getting them. With over 225 meals delivered per week, the program would not be possible without dedicated volunteers. Volunteers are vital. I mean, we don't have enough staff that would be able to deliver the quantity of meals that we have that go out. Um, so, you know, we have around 100 volunteers that are busy throughout the year. You know, differing times, we have our snowbirds that come and go. Um, but, you know, on a week average, we'll see probably about 30 different people going out and doing a delivery. Without volunteers from the community, Meals on Wheels simply would not exist. If you would like to show your support and volunteer, visit their website at cssn.on.ca. For The Source, Michael Onley, Welland.